Oh boy, I got um, some beautiful summer squash from a neighbor of mine. Her garden is full, and she said, do you want some? And I said, yes. And I thought, hey, this is a really good opportunity to use my pop it in the toaster oven cookbook. I don't have anything in here for summer squash. And I'm delighted because there's nothing I like better than improvising. And when I'm not painting in the studio, I'm painting in the st I'm painting in the kitchen. <laughs> anyway, I do have a recipe that's similar and it's called oregano zucchini. Well, zucchini and summer squash aren't that much different. Do I have the roasted garlic? No. Tomato paste? No. But I have garlic powder and I have some curry paste, Rogan Josh, that I think would be nice to use. Um, then I'm also required to have fresh oregano. Well, I have quite a bit of fresh oregano that I went out to my garden to pick. I do have that. But I also have, when I was out there, I saw some beautiful basil and I saw some beautiful thyme. So I thought, why not just blend all, all of those ingredients together f to have as the spice for this dish? Do I have the grated Parmesan cheese? Well, I do. Salt and pepper? Sure. Is this going to turn out? Yeah, I think this is going to turn out quite well. So first, I'm going to preheat my oven. And I'm supposed to preheat it to, well, actually, I'm supposed to broil. But I think in this particular instance, I'm going to bake this. And um, so instead of broiling, which would be for 20 minutes, I think I'm going to set my toaster oven at 400 degrees. And then I'm going to bake this probably for, I would say, 40 minutes covered. And then we'll see what happens. So um, here is my pan that I'm going to use. This is just a 9 by 9 by 2 and a half, I think, baking pan. It's nonstick. And I have all my substitutions here. I think it's going to be just wonderful. And now I'm going to show you what I have assembled. Okay, so <laughs> here is the summer squash all caught up, and you know, I think uh, the quantity here for these two fairly large yellow squashes are comparable to the small uh, four zucchini squashes that I have in right. the recipe. So here I have the three tablespoons of olive oil here, and uh, there is uh, three tablespoons of the grated parmesan. And um, instead of the uh, white wine, I have the juice of the fresh lime, and that's two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. And then instead of the tomato paste, I have two tablespoons of the curry paste, which I think will be quite lovely. And then I'm supposed to have two tablespoons of the oregano. Well, I ended up with about a half a cup of basil, thyme, and oregano. Uh, you know, why not more, I'm thinking, for this. So that's all chopped up. And now I'm going to put everything in my pan here and mix it around with the spoon. So in everything goes. Let's do the squash first. Fits quite nicely. And let's put in the oil. Parmesan. This is a tablespoon of powdered garlic. I think that's going to be comparable to the roasted garlic, there's the herbs, lemon, the lime juice, and the curry paste, and the salt. It's always to taste, of course, and I think that's about a half a teaspoon right there for me, and some nice fresh pepper, which is always a good addition. And now I'm just going to mix this very well in the pan. Cover the pan with 
foil, making sure it's sealed very well. Now I'll just pop the squash into the toaster oven. It's up to heat at 400, and then I'm going to set the timer for 40 minutes. Well, <clears throat> 40 minutes was just fine. Everything is fully cooked. It smells wonderful. I smell Parmesan cheese, garlic, the herbs. Let's, uh, let's give it the old taste test and see. Mm. Mm. First of all, the squash is really sweet. And I think it's because of the curry paste and the, the lime. Um, it's sort of like when you put salt on a tomato, the tomato tastes sweet. There's a lot of really lovely flavors here. Um, garlic, I was kind of wondering if I had to use too much, but it is not too much. It's just lovely. Also, the herbs are coming through. And of course, they lend a really nice texture because they were coarsely chopped. So what does this prove? I think what it proves is that inspiration is good in cooking and it's okay to substitute things and to experiment. Nine times out of 10, you're, you're successful. You find that you have created a wonderful dish. So I would give this a try. It has my recommendation.